Hi, I'm Karina, co-founder of Rebound Hounds. So your adult foster dog isn't completely house trained. Don't panic. Sometimes adult dogs can have incomplete house training or their house training has regressed because of their shelter experience. Learning a few simple tips, sticking to a schedule, and being patient and consistent will have your foster dog on the right path in no time. Dogs coming from the shelter have been through a lot. Some regress in their house training. Others were never completely house trained. Whatever the reason, it's something you can definitely fix. First, make sure that your dog has been checked for any medical issues by a vet. House soiling problems can result from a urinary tract infection or a parasite problem. Stick to a strict water and feeding schedule. Pick up their water two hours before going to bed and limit their water intake in the morning when you're going to work. A good rule of thumb is to give your dog one ounce of water per pound of body weight. So give them just that amount over the course of the day. Feed at the same time every day. You can give them 10 to 15 minutes and then pick up the bowl even if they haven't eaten at all. And don't let them free feed. This can stimulate their system and result in accidents. Take your foster out for potty breaks right after every meal. A dog being house trained may need up to six potty breaks a day before they really get it. A good tip is to use the same door in and out for potty breaks. It's part of the consistency and routine really helps the process. Another good tip is to take your dog to the same spot outside. Even leaving the most recent poop there will encourage them to use the same area. Potty breaks are not the same as walks. They're for house training purposes only and should be 10 to 15 minutes long. Don't distract your dog by talking or playing games. You can say something to them like go potty if you'd like to signal for them to go. When they do go, praise them, give them a treat right away, then let them take a quick stroll around so they don't associate going potty with the end of the fun. Back inside, they can have some free time, then put them back in their crate. If they didn't go potty outside, give no free time. Put them in their crate, wait 20 minutes, then take them back outside for another try. In the home, keep your foster in a confined area on a drag leash. That way you can grab it and take them outside if they show any signs of needing to go. If they do have an accident before you can get them outside, simply clap and say, hey, hey, then take them outside. Remember, never ever scold when accidents happen. This can really damage your relationship with the foster as well as sabotage the training process. Simply clean up the pee and poop and move on. Praise and rewards are key. Be patient, kind, calm, and consistent. And stick to the schedule. Do it every day and you'll see results. It does work. Whether your foster dog needs refresh your house training or needs to start from square one, it's a challenge, but one that you as their foster with a few tools in place can definitely overcome. Mastering house training will make your foster dog not only a happy and welcome part of your family, but of their future forever family as well. Thanks and happy fostering.